What do you find relaxing and satisfying? Is it when someone plays with slime? Or when you watch some other liquefied videos? For me, it's when cocky fighters get what they deserve. We all hate them because they'll just show around, thinking they're better than their opponents. In today's video, we'll be looking at some cocky fighters who got their comeuppance. So, let's start the video. The Uzu Chain First, let's start with this Uzu guy who thinks he's the greatest of all time. As he enters the ring, he starts dancing on his vibe. I think he misunderstood the ring with some kind of club. You may think that riding the vibe is okay, but when his rival enters the ring, he rushes to him, making the audience feel like he is getting the beat down today. But the scenario is different. They clinched at the very start of the match. You can see the bursting punches. It was until he tasted the quick right jab that hit him bad. He was knocked down at the very start of the match. You should never underestimate your opponents, no matter how great of a fighter you are. Misfortunate Smug of All Time This smug right here in the blue trunks should be Sir Misfortunate, but no one's agreeing with me. Not only that, He's smug like everyone else in this video, but he's also pitiful. When this man is making his entry and jumps over the ropes, this happens. Like the commentator said, this is pure gold. But that wasn't the end of it. Here he is right now in the same night in the same fight. He thinks his opponent's a slouch. The moment round one began, he started provoking him. Just watch his footwork and his body movement. He's completely underestimated the guy. He'll then show him his monkey face, but the referee pauses the match. He kept doing it again and again until they reached the second round. He thought he was entertaining the media, but he was digging his grave. When one and a half minutes were remaining in round two, he gets completely knocked by his rival's right jab. So, like I said, the award of the unfortunate smug of all time goes to the guy in the blue trucks. Don't mess with Pacquiao This is a pure example that the Pac-Man shouldn't be messed with. Before the official fight in the ring, Thurman said a lot of bad words about him, but he was silent and smiling. In response, he said all these words give me motivation and encouragement, and it gives me the sign that I should keep working hard. Thurman then said bad things about his family but he didn't let a single word slip out of his mouth. Now, here they are inside the ring. Just like Thurman said in the trash-talking Pac-Man has T-Rex arms. Those T-Rex arms gave him a hard time. Pacquiao wasn't stopping until he dropped him to the canvas with a quick jab. But he wasn't knocked out, so the match continued. The match kept going until the very end of the 12 rounds. In the whole match, Pacquiao was throwing punches and dominating his opponent, so in the end, he won by decision. You can see the joy in his eyes. Okay, now let's get into some of the heated cocky fights inside the octagon. So, let's get into… Didn't see it coming We have this frantic fight down the line, so let's try understanding the situation. The Red Gloves goes frantic, trying to beat the hell out of him. He directly goes for his head, but every single time his rival gets away with it. But let's just pause the video, because the Red Gloves isn't the cocky one, it's the other one. When his rival gets away from him, he gives him a regretful face saying, you couldn't knock me out. But that is when he connects a kick right on his head and knocks him out completely. The moment happened so fast you might have missed his monkey face. But don't worry, let's take another slow-mo. There he makes the face, and bang! The leg just connects. It was a great match worth watching. The Slang of a Smug In this last clip, we have a badass smug versus a nice guy. The other fighter wasn't even bothered a bit by what he was doing. You see, the tattooed guy is the champion here. 
As the saying goes, he's a smug and a hypocrite trying to scare his opponent, or he's just trying to provoke him. But either way, he didn't let him get on his nerves. Even after he pushed him over, he was just smiling at him. But let's get to the part where he beats the hell out of him. This is them right now giving each other a hard time. The untattooed probably didn't like how he treated him, so he's trying to avenge himself. He was quick with his punches. At the last moment, he didn't even let the tattooed guy catch a breath. He kept going at him with his fierce punches until the right jab connected at his jaw and dropped him completely unconscious. He should have never messed with him. But now, let's take a look at the slow-mo for the very last time. I'm sorry to say guys, but the video has reached its end. Now, if you want some other satisfying videos like these, let me know in the comments section. Plus, don't forget to drop your thoughts down too. If you admired our video, then press the like button. Also, consider subscribing to our channel, because we've got what you always wanted. A channel about sporty and entertaining videos. See you in the next one.